Hi y'all, I'm Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a small part two haul of a Torrid shopping trip that I did early in April. Today is April 8th. We just finished watching the solar eclipse. Uh, I live in the path of totality, so it was quite the experience and I'm a little overwhelmed with what I just saw. It was a beautiful experience, but now I get to tell you about these beautiful pieces I picked up from Torrid. So if you're not familiar with my channel, I'm a size 6 or 5 in Torrid clothes. I'm on a Manjaro weight loss journey, so I am kind of in between sizes. However, my bottom half is still really large. I have a hard time fitting their jeans and some of the trousers if they're really close fitting. I am 5 foot 4 and I wear a 50C or a 48D bra for the most part. With all that being said, let's jump straight in. The first outfit I tried on was a two-piecer. I picked up a rose print mesh long skirt that's kind of straight column shaped uh, in a size 6. I tried that on with a black ribbed tank in a size 5 because I wanted that to be a little closer fitting to the body for layering purposes. Torrid says this skirt in this size 2 is 32 inches in length from the waistband. On me it definitely came down farther than that. Um, Torrid grades their sizing the larger you get so you will get more length in the sleeves or in the total length of the garment um, in the larger sizes. So this particular skirt has um, like a polyester solid lining with the mesh overlay. It's a really cute skirt, a uh, really versatile skirt. Love the Y2K style throwback. I remember wearing these the first time around. Um, this skirt is really cute. It's primarily pink and black, but it does have a little bit of blue in the pattern. If you wanted to play with those colors. I like the fit of this skirt, even though it is straight cut. Since it's stretchy, it's really comfortable. I will not be keeping it because of one very, very specific reason that applies to my lifestyle and probably won't apply to anyone else's when a skirt or a dress or pants or whatever have a lining in them that's really slippery i don't like the feeling that i'm going to slide out of my work chair so um i don't know that this would get a ton ton of wear but it certainly was not terribly expensive the day of filming which i said is april 8th this skirt is 69.90 regular price but they're doing 35 percent off or you can use your toward cash right now so if you have Torrid Cash, that would make this just roughly 50% off. So the skirt is lovely. Um, I believe it's machine washable, although you'd have to be careful with the mesh. It has a little bit of a lettuce hem at the bottom, which I think is very cute. This would look good with uh, boots or sandals, I think, or even Mary Jane's. Um, you could do a lot with this ballet flats, depending on if you wanted to dress it more dressy or more casual. This could definitely have the versatility of going dressed up or dressed down. The rib tank is pretty nondescript. It's just a rib uh, u-neck tank. The underarm holes came up uh, plenty high. It covered my bra, I think, for the most part. Um, the size 5 fit well on my body. It was a little clingy as I expected and as I wanted. So I love a rib knit tank. It's one of my favorites, except I think I like the jersey tanks from Walmart a little better, um, but they do not have the size range that Torrid has. But certainly I recommend these from Torrid. They often are on a twofer price deal if that helps you stock up on your basics or maybe pick up a couple of fun colors. If I had gotten a size 6, it probably would be a little bit longer on me. And the size 4 might work if I really wanted it, like snug and form-fitting, and I'd imagine probably would only come a little below my waistband.
The next item I have to show you is the Maxi Shelly off shoulder tulip hem dress. This is currently $79.90, regular price with 35% off. That of course would be less. This also comes in a paisley print and like beige and burgundy tones if you don't want this um, sundress color of yellow. This is another dress I picked up in the size five since it had the fit that seemed like that would work best for my build. I think I probably could wear a six in this. Sometimes the dresses and tops with smocking in the chest and the shoulder tend to fall off my shoulder <laughs> like this shirt is doing right now. So even though this is called a maxi dress, it has kind of a high-low hem in the back. It's full length, 56 inches in length approximately in the back. And in the front, it's more like a 44 inch at the shortest point, but it has a wrap over layer for the skirt. So it moves, moves really beautifully when you walk. I think I tried mine on with jeans today, maybe being a little bit lazy and in a rush. But when I tried this on previously with bare legs, personally, I didn't like that it showed the top of my calves where I have lipedema bulges, not lymphedema, but lipedema but that's a personal issue, not a torrid issue. I think this dress is really lovely. I adore the color of yellow. I think it's a great item that can be dressed up or dressed down. You could even wear this like super casual to the park for, for photos or I think even for like maternity photos, this would be really cute and really versatile for a while as your bump grows. Towards Shally is 100% rayon, I believe. At least this one is. This is more like their classic style chalet that does wrinkle a little bit but the wrinkles also come out super easy if you spray it down and throw it in the dryer or just hang it by the shower or whatever um, but that is a non-stretch fabric however the smocking front and back in this top gives you a lot of flexibility with the fit so i do highly recommend The next item I'm showing is the Maxi Washable Gauze Halter Tiered Dress. This is current price $85.90. Again, there's 35% off available if you choose to use it. I picked this up in the size 5 knowing that I'm a little between sizes and my, my upper body is a bit smaller than my lower body, but I could see how full the skirting was on this. so. I took a chance and the size 5 fit really perfect. This has a cute bow tie detail in the back at the neck if you wanted to wear your hair up in a bun or a ponytail and show that off. It also comes in a black and white gingham that is absolutely darling. And it appears that the 6 and the 5 are available still in both prints. Torrid says in the size 2 that this is 56 inches long. I think mine was probably pretty close to that. I don't think I was stepping on the dress, but it's pretty close to floor grazing, which at my height is pretty spot on for being about 56 inches long. This dress is only lined in the bodice, this white uh, polyester lining. The skirt is unlined, which I actually appreciate because I could choose my own slip or shorts if I wanted to wear them, but that polyester lining is really warm in the summer so that could make this dress a little heavy and a little uncomfortable so i actually applaud torrid for not using a lining if they couldn't give it the dress to us at a reasonable price point with uh, using a natural fiber for a lining this dress does have a few tiers in the skirt none of them were too tight for my hip i tried to demonstrate that in the try on portion um, the colors again are really vibrant and beautiful so this is a dress that I recommend. I think it would be really darling with a t-shirt underneath or with a sweater, jacket, jean vest maybe over top. 
think that would be really, really cute. Um, you possibly even could flip the bow detail out of the neckline of the jacket, depending on how it fits. Um, I've mentioned in a few videos that I like, for this purpose, t-shirts from a company called Half Tea, uh, not sponsored. Although, hey, if you want to, you know. Um, half tees are, you can get sleeveless, short sleeve, or elbow length, at least. You might be able to get more than that now. But the tees only come down just below the bust. So on me, I've got a like a U neck t-shirt that only comes down just to under my bra, which is more comfortable to me with a dress than trying to layer something that I have to tuck in and worry if it's going to come out of you know tucking it into my underwear or my shapewear or whatever. So um, I do highly recommend the half tees. The ones that I have were available up to a size 6x. I think I picked up a 5x I'm pretty sure but they're perfectly soft comfortable jersey knit tees so I will for sure leave a link to them down in the description box and you can check them out The next item I'm showing is the Maxi Washable Chalet High Low Tiered Shirt Dress. The regular price for this is $85.90 minus the 35%, do the math. That is not my forte. I picked this item up in a size 6. Um, just with the shirt cut in the bodice, I figured that would be the best option for my build. This I read was very transparent. It in fact is. You can kind of see through the fabric, but again, I think I actually prefer this to having the polyester lining that Tori usually gives us because I can choose my own slip or undergarments to go with this. Today I am wearing a rose dust colored strapless bra. So the, um, well I can't show it to you. So the color blends in with my skin really easily and you couldn't see through too much. I'm not sure if you could see my white briefs, but we'll find out when I watch the video back. Um, this dress is a high-low. It's about 48 inches long in the front, 56 inches long in the back. In a size 2, the size 6 may have a couple extra inches in both of those measurements. This chalet is also 100% rayon, so it's very comfortable. It is certainly not wrinkle resistant, but those wrinkles um, spray out or steam out really easily. I like the little rose print on this fabric. I think this would be darling paired with like western boots and maybe a denim vest or a crossbody leather bag, something like that to really play up the to really play up the western vibe. Although you certainly could wear this in a variety of ways, including just plain old dressed up. It, it would look really cute. Um, this dress also has tiers, which sometimes I am afraid of because that top band can really hug against my hip circumference. This one was plenty roomy. It had side pockets. I think you can see that in the try-on. I think I also tried this on with my jeans maybe still on, so uh, take that into account with the way this fits, that my jeans take up a little bit of space, and you may see them at the bottom of the dress, but okay, let's take a quick look and then move on to the next item.
The next top I'm showing is the embroidered crinkle chiffon crochet lace trim tank. This is regular price $49.90, but there's 35% off available on the day of filming. This is in the color Water Ballet. It is absolutely beautiful. The camera's not doing this justice. It's a really filmy, ethereal uh, material in person that shows a lot of lightness and a lot of depth as the uh, fabric moves around. I like that this has the like a granny nighty type of feel to it. Um, initially I picked this up in a six so that the hips would fit thinking that it would be pretty narrow but the top and the bottom were very very oversized so I did size down to a five and I like the way it fits. In fact these straps are really close to not fitting my shoulders. They're really close to like falling off being too big still but I don't think I could quite size down to a four. However the strings here I hope I showed it in the video. The strings here are functional, so you can actually undo this little bow and tighten up the neckline, which helps keep the straps on the shoulder. This is still available in the size uh, four, five, and six. And Tord says it measures 28 inches in length in the size two. On me, I'd say it's about 30 inches, but it certainly is not long. If you are an apron belly girl and you don't like to show your belly, this is not a top for you. But if you don't care or that it's not an issue for you, then I highly recommend this shirt. I think the material with the little embroidery on it is gorgeous. I like the crinkle chiffon. It is lined with another layer of chiffon or Georgette. And I think it would look really cute with one of those half tees or with a jean jacket or a cardigan over top. But overall, I highly recommend. And let's take a quick look in the try-on and then we'll move on to the next item. Let's talk about the shirt that I'm wearing right now. This is the embroidered square neck flutter short sleeve top. Regular price is $65.90. This is in the color pristine, which is the like ivory lighter color here. There are other things available in the pristine color if that matters to you or if you're trying to match. This shirt does come in two other color varieties. The pristine is still available in a size six. A size six is what I picked up. I'm glad that's what I picked up. It's a little bit full on me in the upper body and the shoulders just barely fit without falling off. But I like the fit in the body and in the hip so it's not super tight. Um, this shirt has a wonderful feature that I adore which is you get functional like real buttons but the placket is stitched shut. So you don't have to worry about anything gaping or being visible or popping open. You will be covered. This has adorable like cross stitch style embroidery throughout in the tan and blue shades. A little bit of dark brown with also embroidery on the back which I think is wonderful. I wonder, so I, you, I've seen these before with the buttons in the back but the tag is definitely in the back of this shirt. However, I wonder if you took out the tag, if you could flip it around and wear it backwards as well with the buttons in the back because I think the neckline is the same. But uh, the, f the front definitely has good pleating here for the bust to, um, to flare out. And speaking of flaring, this has beautiful flutter sleeves. If you are an arm girl where you have issues with arms fitting, I think this would be great for you. It is very short though. Tord says in the size 2, this is 28 inches in length. I would guess size 6 to be 29, 30 inches in length, probably not more than 30, because I'm pretty sure you can see the lower portion 
of my little prednisone pooch as well as some of my booty. So if you have an apron belly, keep that in mind. This may not be something you want unless you are comfortable showing your belly, which I highly recommend. This shirt is very comfortable. It was 75 degrees today when I was outside for the eclipse until it got dark and cold. But 75, I was so comfortable in this. I think this would be nice and airy if it were hot, hot. And it looked really cute blowing and ruffling in the breeze. So this is a definite win I highly recommend. It gives very much like I went on vacation in Mexico vibes and brought this back as a souvenir. I know it's probably not authentically made in Mexico at least, but hopefully it was authentically made somewhere wherever this was made. This has a beautiful square neckline with a straight across little um, top here with stitching all the way around the neckline front and back. It's just lovely, really high quality. I definitely recommend. Let's take a look and move on to the next item. The next item I'm showing is the Mushroom Oversized Fit Heritage Jersey Tunic Tee. The regular price of this is $39.90. And I picked this up in a size 6, which is currently sold out. But if you are a size 6, I think you could easily wear the size 5, which is currently available. This is 32 inches in length from the size 2. On me, I would guess it's at least 34 inches in length and it is 100% cotton. In my experience with these cotton tees that Tord has been keeping us stocked on, um, they definitely shrink in the dryer if you're not careful. So I have started laying mine flat to dry. I've had people comment on the bagginess of some of my clothes in the videos and I definitely am guilty of liking a very oversized fit tee when I want to be comfortable. They're just the best. And a lot of people must be looking for the oversized fit for the six to be sold out and all of the other sizes to be in stock. So this has a really cute print on the front that's a little aged looking. Hopefully you can see that and see it pretty clearly in the try on. This has a loose crew neck uh, neckline, like a slightly baggier fitting crew neck. It's a cute detail for a, just a basic shirt. This is so, so soft. So, all in all, I say if you were into oversized cotton tees, this is definitely one to check out. I have plenty of concert and band tees, and this is a cute variation on that. So, let's get a quick look in the try-on, and then we'll move on to the next item. The next item I have to show you is the Oil Slick Mesh Crew Neck Relaxed Tee. This is regular price $35.90 and I picked it up in a size 6. Currently the 6 and the 5 are sold out, but who knows, I would if this is something if this is something you're interested in, I would follow the link that I've provided and still Keep checking to see if returns are sent back or if they restock this item. Um, I give major props to Torrid for giving us something different, something unusual, and a nice, like, casual, edgy option. This would be a great top for, like, a concert or a festival with some jean shorts, maybe. So the size two, this measures 31 inches in, this measures 30 inches in length 
It's a little longer than that on me, but certainly not tunic length. Also, the size 6 was very close fitting in my upper and lower body, which I'm fine with, but if you want a baggy oversized tee, you will definitely need to size up in this. Um, a couple of the reviewers noted that this has a really close fitting neck. It definitely does, but I didn't think it was like constricting. It was just kind of like um, wearing a basic, like a Hanes white t-shirt, like a men's t-shirt. So it does not have an open neckline, but I think that's part of the charm of the style of this. You could wear a tank top underneath and really see like a difference in the neckline being here and your tank top being down here. So you would see some actual like chest and back space. Um, I think this color is absolutely to die for. I love this shade of blue when the light picks it up. It looks uh, black underneath, so no side slits or anything like that. It just does not have any real detail to it whatsoever other than the fabric being unique. I'm sorry, my cats are being so bad. You've probably heard their bells throughout the entire video. We have a newish kitten that I've had for a few months and she is still so so hyper and bad she terrorizes my other two cats so they constantly all day long are they constantly all day long are running around making noise i think they think when i sit down to film it's time to act out so anyway sorry if you've heard bells throughout the whole video and been annoyed with that this shirt's really cute i'm gonna keep it and maybe wear it for a festival or a concert like i said um, let's take a quick look at the try on and then move on. That is everything I had to show you. I hope you enjoyed seeing these nine or so items I think that I showed you today. Combined with the part one of the haul, this felt like a nice little chunky order to share with you. I have another chunky order that came to me in three parts to show you that I will start filming soon with current releases that I've been picking up as soon as my Torrid Cash was eligible to use. And if you're not someone who gets toward cash a lot, I would just wait until they do 50% off, which I only saw them start doing when the pandemic hit. But I've seen 50% off a couple times a year since then. So if toward is outside of your budget, I would just wait. 40% off happens often, 50% off happens occasionally. But if you can afford to pick up some of these new releases, there are certainly things that I recommend and think would be great additions to the wardrobe. Today's try on was mostly hits, um, which I always appreciate, although it keeps me from doing as many returns as I would like, my closet would like, as my husband would like for the sake of our closet, but it is what it is. If you liked this video, you found it informational, then please give me a thumbs up and be sure to leave a comment down below if you have thoughts about any things you picked up or if you've found some things that toured recently that you are loving as well. If there are other companies you want me to try, then let me know in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell if you want to stick around and be notified when I post my next video. And until then, take care of yourself. See you soon.